Uh, I'm hoping this guy actually attacks. I want to see if we can win this battle. This is the end turn, I think. Yes, it is. We'll see what happens. Now I'm thinking of... We do have a recruiting province up here. Realm, of course. And down here. I might actually need to make another recruiting province here. Why is that so spread out? Another recruiting province here. Well, we are going to take... We need to take the Averni on then. Greetings to you. You bless our meeting with these terms. I will... Sh you want peace by any chance? I will listen carefully to your words. And then give oh my god, what the hell? So, greetings and now business. <laughs> I can... Well, let's solve that issue. I have what about you guys? We're gonna need to kill them off next because we were at war with them. And if we're not gonna take them out, the Averni will, so... Goals. And there's a... <laughs> I mean, it's us or them. Either way, they're gonna go down. It'd be better for me to take this whole province. Looks like they only have two cities. We should be able to recruit some Cav here, yeah. We should be fine in terms of that. Let's see. You're a low tier general. You're high tier. High tier. We're gonna leave him and him, yeah. Or these two, because this guy's gonna die pretty soon, I think. Anyways, let's send a diplomat. Never mind, we don't have the money. Oh, do we have a neighbor who's simmering away? I'll try and mute as he starts. So it's uh, not recorded. At least. Everything else is fine. Get the food up here because we have supply issues. That's why these guys are starving out. Now I looked through the sub mods for this and I think I might download, if I do another playthrough, I might download the one that actually changes the names back to English. Do I have like a more of an idea where some of these are? They beat the Emperor so bad. They lost so many men due to... Uh, I can't think of... Uh, uh, starvation. Low supply. <laughs> we can man uh, we managed to piss them out just by that. Just using that. That's funny. All in all, this campaign is going really fine. Hmm. I wonder if our client state is going to survive if we actually drag him into war with the Averni. That's questionable. Although they held their own pretty well so far. Fix once they get up here, maybe, hopefully. Right. I probably make this recruiting province. It's gonna be better. Let's see here, we need uh, aqueducts. 
to we need the Temple of Jupiter as fast as possible. Celtic Celtic and Hellenic is rising. Why Hellenic though? Neighbors hammering away. Still. Okay, let's make our way th this way. Get our spy over there as well. You as well. You're gonna stay up here. I see this cab shouldn't be like any burst than what we got. Let's see melee attack 11, melee defense 21, charge 161. These they actually have more melee attack. Less defense though, but still, they're pretty decent. And again, all the Roman, uh, most of the Roman cab was auxiliary units. Except the cataphracts, like later on. We hunger for battle. Get okay, you didn't lose again. anything. I do want to like move the troops back. Actually, what's the difference between legionaries and veteran legionaries? Nothing. I mean, their morale is up by four. Yeah, that, that's that's not worth it at all. Right. Destroy this. And we're gonna create a. Let's switch this over as well. We're gonna create a engineer thing for the catapults. I'm not doing sieges the old-fashioned way anymore. That's fine. Switch that over. I do want to create uh, the first legionary cohort for each army there. Look at that, that's 400 men in one unit. Plus, they get the. Uh... Are you ready to serve Rome? Alright. It's gonna disappear from the recruitment screen now. Let me go through these real quick. Let's disband the mercenaries. Yeah, these are okay. These are mercenaries, mercenaries as well. How about here, it's fine. Let's grab. I guess a couple of these. Just in case. As for here. Let's get rid of all of these. They're Houston Marines. Calculate Swordsman. White Shields. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna recruit some gear, like units here just because um, they might attack us at some point again. At your command. Yeah, these are old infantry, I think. Levies. Are Grab a couple of those. I need a couple spears. In there. So these should be. I can't. I can't tell if. They, yeah, they have a phalanx formation. So let's grab a couple of them. Two should be enough. Two of these. 
I guess they're swordsmen. Let's see. Who has the most melee attack? They do. It should be enough to hold that front. For now. Can we build anything anywhere? Library? I kinda need food here. Right, our research rate is gonna go way down now. Because I got rid of so many libraries. Let's build this up. Okay, after this, I'm gonna go research the food first. Because we're not gonna get the high level cities without the food. Definitely. We hunger for battle. Let's send a diplomat over to Epirus. <laughs> we might snag a city off of him. Again. They actually kind of take out the pirates for once. Oh, crap, I forgot to change the thing on Discord or on Twitch again. them being in my territory, that's for sure. Oh, nice. Increased research rate. Okay, since uh, that is done, let's go grab the food things here. That's the most important. Silver mine, let's see. Mine shaft, lead processing. What's the difference here? I need lead, 40 silver talents. Question is like um uh, which sell for more? God, now I have to find silver here. Okay, there it is. Sixteen. Okay, how about lead? So I can't afford it again. So this is what I mean, like, which one of these are the ones I need to look for? 
God only knows. Okay, hit, hit them. Or not? What? game come on okay it's cost the same apparently Oops. see here but really the same except we're gonna get uh, let's go for civil talent talents why not Right here. Go for the public order. And here we want to go for the workshop. Because we need the onagers. At your command. Ready for battle. Oh, I do need to check for like... Uh, where my fleets are, I almost forgot about that. Not raiding stands, come on. Commander! Soldiering! It's a good life, ready for battle! Hmm. We might have an opportunity to actually ambush here. That would be quite good. Or, I mean, I could just stand there. In a fortification, they should should attack me. I think. Right, leave one amb army in ambush. Leave the and the place the other one in the fortification. That's probably how we're gonna do it. He has a high chance, so we're gonna leave him. We hunger for battle. Ready for battle. It is a great and glorious Commander. thing to die for Rome. Now where are the fleets? You have one turn. You need to stay in there. You one turn as well. Where's the second, last one? Egypt, right? No. Oh, there it is. You one as well, apparently. Get them in there. I mean, since it takes a fucking million years to get that, uh, where was it? 15, look at that, 15 turns. Let's just do it anyway. God. Now we need to go for like chance to succeed in all things. Steel ain't gonna be good. Assassinate, let's go for that. Now Epirus is actually amassing troops on our side. I might need to... I 
What's up, turn? I might need to recruit another one to over here somewhere to protect the borders. Although we are sending an army over there. And if my neighbor would stop drilling, that would be nice. These people are concerning. Will you not move your armies against them? When can you give the... Right, maybe I should have, uh, shouldn't have called them into that war. Because now they're going to bring all their troops over there. And the uh, Gauls are going to attack them. No, I'm good. I had a very nice sleep last night. Well, morning. And tomorrow we're going to do some Diablo 4. I think the new season starting at 5 p.m. Central European time. So we're going to do that. Actually, I might need... Yeah, I'm going to leave three armies here. How many more can we have, though? Let's see. Two more. Because uh, this is the problem, like... It can just hop through the water there and attack it. So it might be a good idea to like... Yeah, I do, I do have two fleets here, so... If I could click on it... Let's leave one fleet here. And one fleet up here. And I need to... I need to recruit another one. Up here. Somewhere. I did piece out the Eppers, but uh, they're gonna attack again. Of course they will. Start bringing them this way. Assembling the fleet. And I just realized and then I mute myself. Uh, who knows how long. I need to bring a, a couple of fleets up here. We're gonna have two fleets around Iberia, and I need like a couple of fleets. In the Mediterranean. 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 Uh, can't say it. I can say it my language, Mediterranean. I can't say it in English for some reason. So once Epirus attacks again, we can actually defend the coastal towns. Otherwise, I mean, I'm just hoping the Egyptians are not going to declare war. That's basically it. Because if they do, we're kind of screwed down here. 
Or these guys, for that matter. I don't have an easy way to get an army down there. So you... Up and about and go to Italy. Hmm. What will this give us? I don't know, is this really needed? Not really. I guess we can go with the shrine to Mars. Guess we got attacked here. I mean, that's never gonna happen, but uh, I mean, why not? Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. I think I remember these giving like experience to units or something as well. Right, this is going to give us war horses. It's level 3 horses. Cav speed upon rec Ooh. Might be useful for going for uh, Circus Maximus here, to be honest. I think we want to do that because we, we're going to need a lot of Cav. And not, well, not a lot, but we're going to need Cav, so that might be more useful. So yeah, Circus Maximus. Granted, I could just... Try that. And for public order, Rhythm Diplomat Champions. I mean, it's only like f f that four, four public order difference. I think I'm gonna switch this to a circus. Or war horse breeder. And we're gonna make a... Temple of Mars here. I mean, the better idea would be to grab this, but I'm not going to reload for that. Let's see here. He's still here. Those. Those guys are ready. Okay, so what do they say? I think this guy has the like higher chance of ambush. Yeah, 66. So place him there. You're gonna stand in a fort and be bait. At once. Waiting for more orders. Commander. On the move. Concealed from you. The idea is gonna be to like actually try and get to all of these two attacks so we can wipe them out in one go. How can I, be of As you I think I just literally blocked my agent's way there. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Lusitani. Welcome. Hmm. Let's actually try and get money to attack him. Because, you know, why not? Moderate. Okay, we're not gonna get money from them, obviously. Yeah, who else is at war with them? These guys, right? Yep. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like a sp Ah, fuck it. I'll just outright declare war room. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please don't bother. Talk of meat. Hopefully they don't have an army. Oh. Well, let's hope these guys don't rush in and steal something off of me. Ready. 
to just check everything first. Okay, everything's fine. I don't think okay. Do we have the money? No, we do not. Right, we do need to check if everyone, everyone here has a wife. Well, they do not. Find a wife, man. Come on. Gravitas too low. He's 22. It looks like he's a million years old. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if they take the bait. I mean, hopefully they will. They, all, they got like three full stacks there. And as far as we know, they only see us and the well, the Averni now, who started raiding in their province. I'd much rather fight them. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Bro! Now, I think these are spearmen, calf. Hit stack, this is the garrison, right? Yeah, garrison army. And they do have a lot of cav. But unfortunately for them, we're in a fourth. <laughs> so this is gonna go real well for them. Then, uh, I mean, uh. Hmm. I wonder if I didn't make a fort there, would be would it be a bridge battle? I think that would be even better, to be honest. You know, here's hoping they ignore the reinforcement army so we can envelop them with them. And the Gauls already made their move. Oh, it's wait a minute, what? I have a fort. What the hell is this? Okay, this is this is gonna be an issue. If they decide to attack on both ways, on both the land bridge and the, is there actually? Can't tell if this is a bridge or not. Should be right. If they attack both ways, I can't really flank them. But in that case, our troops are gonna outlast them anyway, so that's not a big issue. See, yeah, that's that's good. Oh yeah, it's a bridge. Finally, one of those never seen, rarely seen bridge battles. So you know what I could do is, ah uh, no, maybe I have this here and place the troops. Nah, fuck it. Enforcement's gonna come from the back, it's good. Legionaries! Jupiter gives us strength! Legionaries! Fellow infantry at your command! Now. Question is, can the troops get around that, all of that? Because we do not want to let them cross, obviously. Until we get our reinforcements in. Or... Eh. I mean, what we could do is just stand with the reinforcements here. Commander. Give me a second. We wanna. Sons of Mars. 
We're gonna block them off here because there's a chance they're not gonna go this way at all. And here we're gonna make a little gap. Missiles ready and wait at the ready. Missile infantry. Legionary cavalry. Eighteen thousand men, yeah, pretty much. Now imagine if I had like four armies as well, like on my side. That would have been epic. Unfortunately, you can all the only control of all the troops. Let's see how well this goes. I mean, if they only rush this way, it's gonna be perfect. Because we can march an entire army this way and just uh, slam in their backs. Although they do have... They do have three or three armies reinforcing. Granted, uh, not full 20-man stacks. And one's a garrison stack. So that's going to be piss easy to take out. I'm going to do something like this. Missile cav. We're gonna try and wait. Archers, get your asses over here. On this side. We're gonna use these on these side. On this side. I guess I should move my cav this way. We might use them over there. Or the, hmm. I'm thinking of do I actually like just block them on the bridge or let them like f funnel in a little bit? just gonna stand there then uh, fine by me to be honest gonna turn off attack or fire at will. I wanna kill their archers first. I think they might be waiting for their reinforcements then they're gonna charge in. Alright, let's set this up just in case. So Spread them out as much as we can here. Oh, God. oh no, a rock is in the way, man. I mean, we are gonna flank them with an army too here. later on so yeah let's actually just split these forces up immediately let's have the veterans come this way 
and then the rest of them they can go this way we're gonna grab the veterans from this side as well come here archers get yeah Group up all the calves as well. Oh, not you. But you go this way and you're gonna come here. all set up I mean the battles in antiquity were huge compared to the medieval ages let me take a look at them because uh, like times like these Rome can feel thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of men, men on the field. That's why they were so successful, because uh, the armies were professional units, more or less. While in the Middle Ages, you just had retinues of your nobles and lords, dukes and counts fighting, and some levies. Like they were just waiting for their reinforcements to come in. Fortunately, I don't have any spearmen on me. you hurry up oh my god look at this mess Don't use that because they're gonna target the water, apparently. Oh, we just need to outlast them here, basically, nothing else. Reform the line. I wish that button actually did something, to be honest. Nostalgia. The 300 Spartans holding a shitload of 
Romans back in the day when Total War 1 was, was the, all the rage. <laughs> Those were the days. Okay, how about you don't do that? They cut, get caught by one unit and they instantly stop marching or doing what they told them. flank them until all their units actually get here so don't get butt fucked Imagine if we had like resupply at these. But sadly, nope. Because these are useless now at this point. Yeah, that's why maybe I should. Uh, uh, the better idea is always to switch to catapults. To be honest, as soon as you can grab them. Because, uh... They can be a lot more... Oh, can you actually destroy the bridge? That would be freaking funny if you can actually use catapults to wreck the bridge when there's a shitload of units on it, like now. one guy there we lost a bit here nine guys there it's 14 there not bad all in all they're targeting supplies which makes sense Okay, yeah, those guys are getting there slowly but surely. Fresh, 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 fresh. Everything's fresh. For a second. Oh, oh. Oh, those are mine. Never mind. 
That was for a second they were peeling off a couple of them. Did they just try and go for my infantry or archers there? Seems like it. to be honest. Well, this, this battle is going to take a while and the lower the casualties, the better. We're going to immediately just capture the settlements behind this or there are two settlements. See, our archers actually got the best days, of course, got more kills. These guys are getting a lot of kills as well. One of our units has used all its ammunition. has used all its ammunition. At your service. Okay, that's it for the archers. You can't just sit here and let them bash their heads against the shields. Oh no, they're inspired or something. I'm actually surprised we didn't see their... Okay, their general is in the middle of the bridge. He might char still charge in and kill himself. We'll see. exactly sure if that's all of them but let's get these guys moving across here no oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a nice sandwich Pretty nice sandwich. Once they actually drop to 150, I can I can uh, get them out. Place so, uh, place another one in there.
I oh, see they got more reinforcements coming in. I forgot how to I just have the cinematic camera on. What did the baggage train ever do to you, man? 6108, 184. I mean, I can always, like, get three of these to hold the line up here as their reinforcements come in and use the rest of them to sandwich them. I like missile cam, medium spear. Back, let's peel these two off. Set them out to scout. What's up, Funky? How's it going? Did they actually kill any any of them yet? Okay, they actually killed three, so... Uh, if they're targeting them, I'll just... Get him into the studio formation. I wish uh, there was a way to actually tell how many troops they got left in the reinforcements. Because then. Uh, how the fuck is you supposed to know? <laughs> Managed to trap three Lustanian armies or lure three Lustanian armies into attack me, attacking me, so we can have a clear way to their cities. If the Gauls, the filthy Gauls, will take it from me, otherwise, IRL. I think it can always be better, you know how it is here. Big Mojibodi. Uh, we, we got another local viewer on Twitch as well. <laughs> Funny, like, uh, try to avoid our people, then I get like seven people, seven guys on stream, five, six, seven, something like that. Like, more than five, definitely. From ex Yugoslavia or the Balkans viewing this. Oh, full hand. Oh, finished. We can hold this with what? Five units, forever, indefinitely. Let's see where their reinforcements are coming from. I mean, at this point, I just uh, hope they ignore these two. We did kill off Carthage easily, because once once we actually took. You know, Carthage, whatever it's called in this game. Africa, they stopped sending armies at me. 